everybody. I'm Mike of Mike Likes, and today I thought I'd show you a telescope that I've had for a little while, which is, in my opinion, the very best telescope for beginners looking to spend less than $200. And uh, this telescope is the Astronomers Without Borders One People, One Sky Reflector. It's a Newtonian reflector on a alt as Dobsonian base, which basically means that everything you need to get started is right here in this little telescope. And you might be thinking, wow, this is a really small portable telescope and you'd be right in saying so. But the interesting thing about this telescope is it's got a party trick. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys that this telescope is more than meets the eye. And that's how you're going to be able to use it to the fullest effect. So this particular telescope has a focal length of 650 millimeters and a mirror uh, speed at f5. So what that means is this is going to show you a whole lot more than your typical beginner's telescope. Now why do I say that? Well because this telescope has a 5 inch aperture. It's a 130 millimeter wide mirror, 5 inches. Um, the Orion Star Blast, you know, smaller entry level telescopes, you're usually talking about three to four and a half inches, and this one's five. So this isn't far behind my Celestron 6, which is a telescope that's four to five times more expensive. And you can get these telescopes for $200, $100 of which is actually going to Astronomers Without Borders to help countries where astronomy is not a thing and they teach it to, you know, locals that live there and might live under dark skies. It's a wonderful cause. Um, you know, what you see is what you pretty much get in the box. You get the telescope itself already mounted, so you don't have much setup to do. You've got your red dot finder so that you can, you know, observe. You've got your focuser, which is very clever. This focuser here, it kind of just, I'm going to bring the trusses down for a second. So this focuser just rotates just like so, like a bolt and a screw. And it actually comes with some eyepieces. You've got your 25 millimeter low power eyepiece. You've got your 10 millimeter high power eyepiece and you get a collimation cap so you can make sure that your secondary mirror up top and your primary mirror in the bottom is nicely collimated. When I got this telescope, it's been collimated. Even though it's a truss model, which has, which means that these bars come out, it's actually held collimation really well over this past time that I've had it. I've only had to make minor, minor tweaks in the primary mirror and never had to touch the secondary mirror. So that's how easy it is to use. This is a great grab and go telescope. You know, once you've, um, let me take the lens cap off here, uh, so you can see. Um, it's very easy to take camping. Um, you know, the whole thing weighs, I'm just carrying it now, it's 14 pounds, so it's it's nothing. My, my eight inch dog is 42 pounds, so you definitely feel it. This one you don't feel. Um, it, everything you need to get started. So the 25 millimeter eyepiece, that's gonna give you about 26 times power on this and a 10 millimeter eyepiece is gonna give you 65 times power. This makes it a great telescope for observing the moon, the local planets in our solar system, some of the brighter deep sky objects like the Pleiades, the Orion Nebula, Andromeda's visible. If you take it to a dark site, and believe me, you wanna take it to a dark site, uh, you can see so much more with it. One thing that I always think about when I have a telescope like this on a tabletop basis, how are you going to observe? Because it's pretty low to the ground when you put it you know, on the ground wherever you are. So what I usually do is I take it in one of those clear plastic tubs that you can get at Target or Walmart or you know Home Depot, and I flip the tub over and I use that as a base and sit next to it, and that works pretty well. Some people get like those orange paint buckets and they sit it right on top and that fits nicely as a base too. You could use the hood of a car, you could use a picnic table, but that's assuming you find one and you don't always find one in the field. So yeah, this is your, you know, basic Dobsonian reflector, but in a five inch package. And it means that it goes anywhere. This sits in the front seat with you. It can go in the trunk. It travels really well, even in the airlines. And one nice thing about it too, is that it's on this um, Vixen dovetail base. I don't know if you can see that, but what that means is that I can take this telescope off of here and put any number of telescopes on a Vixen plate on this Altas tabletop base. So there have been times that I want a closer look at a planet and I put my uh, Schmidt Cassegrain, the six inch fits beautifully on here. I don't know that I try the eight, but the six inch works and I'm sure the five inch and four inch work as well. Some people put solar telescopes on here, but you know, the main thing is if you're a beginner looking to get started with a telescope and you don't wanna to make too big an investment, but you wanna buy a quality instrument that's actually gonna work for you, this is a great choice. And at under $200 with everything you need to get started, it's a great value. That's something that people don't think about is, 
you're not always going to want to spend $500 on an 8-inch daub or $800 on a 10-inch daub or $1,000 on a go-to mount. But if you just want something to enjoy, maybe on camping trips with your kids, with your family, this is a great way to get started. And I've had it for a little while now. Um, the whole thing's made by Celestron, so it's, it's built to last. It really feels like quality. You get a lot for your money here. And um, I just love this telescope. I find myself using it more because it's so light and easy to take out. Taking out the 8-inch daub, not too bad, but you have to take it out in two pieces usually the base comes out and then the tube comes out this kind of just all carries at once you've got this handle right here makes it really easy and uh, you know you can be out and observing within 30 seconds if you need to with this I've actually used it to chase the International Space Station as it tears across the sky it does pretty well with that uh, at least as well as binoculars if you're able to really go with it um, and yeah, I, I don't know there's not much else to say here but when you're ready to put it away you just disengage the trusses it goes down so smoothly Tighten these up and you put your cap back on and you are good to go. You can store this thing just about anywhere. I often keep it under the bed. So yeah, thanks for joining me for this uh, short edition of Mike Likes. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Take care.